Hey guys, it's Matt with techynotes.net tonight. It's my other blog. Did you just get a Windows 8 box and you just absolutely hate this new uh, user interface as soon as you boot your computer? Um, sure, you can get to your desktop just by clicking that little desktop tile. But then once you get there, um, you don't, don't have your trusty little start menu that you've been taught to use for, I don't know, the past... 15 something years or more. Um, so today in this video I'm going to show you how you can get back your start menu button, your old one, and how you can bypass this uh, Metro, uh, this new interface from uh, from Windows. So it's called, it's Metro style, I don't know what the hell they call it. Tiles, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, there's a little utility out there called Start 8. It's four dollars and ninety nine cents if you want to buy it, or you can eval it for thirty days. I'll show you the site. It's uh, start eight. Let's do a Google search for it. Let's bring it right to the uh, page where they describe what it does, and you can go ahead and purchase it or download it. Four ninety-nine. Really simple. I bought one copy for myself at work. So anyway, I've already downloaded it. I downloaded, um, I think it's like the full version, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and install it as a trial. So I'll just go ahead and copy it over to my computer here. And once it's on your desktop, you can go ahead and just run it. Let's go ahead and hit yes. So my Christmas vacation's over. Uh, it ended a few days ago, so that was a long vacation. So it's back to uh, making videos. So I've got a bunch of these little techynotes.net videos. Uh, they're really short, and then there's just going to be a whole lot of them. So, um, and then I'll be doing some more remove malware, remove dash malware.com videos. Those are longer. Um, but more infrequent, so go ahead and hit finish. And uh, they give you a couple of good options here, so you can try it, you can purchase it, or you can unlock a previous purchase. So we'll go ahead and just try it. And as soon as it comes up, uh, they give you the preferred style, the Windows 7 style. Um, really not much you have to configure here at all. Um, you can see it's already added my button, but you can configure a whole lot of stuff if you really want to customize the way Windows 8 looks and how it responds. Um, so very, very cool stuff. So I also have this under desktop. Under this big desktop button I have it to automatically log into desktop when I sign in. So I don't have that crazy metro tile screen. So at this point I'll just go ahead and close it. And now I have my old start button back. Just like Windows 7, just like all the stuff that you're used to. Um, but you get the flexibility of having a new operating system with some more speed and um, you know, you're staying up to date with stuff. So anyway, if you want to revert back to um, the old way with uh, Windows 8, you can with Start 8. It's pretty easy. Anyway, um, I'll show you how um, Start 8 logs us in now. Let's do, go ahead and restart my computer. So yeah, I mean, Windows 8 um, is a little bit speedier, I must say. I use it all the time at work now um, compared to Windows 7, but I do miss the old Windows 7 interface. Uh, just because it's so easy to get this stuff for me. I'm just not used to it yet. Um, I am learning the Windows 8 interface. I'm getting used to it because I'll have to deal with uh, clients uh, a lot that are going to be using the default interface. So, so my uh, computer at work's got, these, uh, got the Start 8 program, and then my uh, Windows 8 box at home is just the regular version of Windows 8. So that way I'm uh, getting exposed to both.
Um, in case you're curious, um, my next remove-malware.com video is going to be Malware Bytes Chameleon. And I'm working on that tonight. And if my appointments tomorrow night finish up at a decent hour, I'll pump that video out too because that's another short one. And as you can see, it showed that Metro interface for a second, and then it just logs you right into your desktop. So, anyway, this is just an awesome little, little utility. It's so cheap. Um, for all you people that got laptops and desktops with Windows 8, and you just hate that, you know, the way it logs in and that, you know, you're missing your start button down here. Start 8 solves all that for you in a matter of, like, a minute. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to upload this and... Relax for the rest of the night.